What is LTE serving SINR? Signal to interference plus noise ratio. LTE serving SINR. Signal to interference plus noise ratio is a critical parameter in LTE networks that measures the ratio of the signal power to the combined power of the interference and noise. It is measured in decibels, dB, and indicates the quality of the received signal. The higher the SINR, the better the signal quality and network performance. Several factors can affect the serving SINR, including 1. Interference. Interference from other cells or external sources can reduce the serving SINR. 1. This interference can come from adjacent cells operating on the same frequency, or from other sources such as electrical equipment or radio waves. 2. Noise. Noise in the communication channel can also reduce the serving SINR. 2. This noise can come from various sources, such as radio frequency interference, thermal noise, or quantization noise. 3. Signal quality. The quality of the received signal can also affect the serving SINR. 3. Factors such as signal strength, modulation type, and channel coding affect the signal quality. 4. Distance from the cell. The distance between the user equipment and the serving cell is another important factor that can affect the serving SINR. 4. The further the distance, the weaker the signal strength and the lower the SINR. How can improve the serving SINR and network performance? To improve the serving SINR and network performance, network operators can take several solutions such as 1. Interference mitigation. Network operators can mitigate interference from external sources by shielding the signal and reducing the impact on the SINR. 1. They can also use interference cancellation techniques to reduce interference from adjacent cells. 2. Signal boosting. Network operators can use signal boosters to enhance the signal strength in areas with low SINR. 2. Signal boosters can amplify the signal, resulting in an improved SINR. 3. Frequency band optimization. Network operators can optimize the frequency bands used for LTE transmissions to reduce interference and improve SINR. 4. Channel coding. Network operators can adjust the channel coding scheme used for LTE transmissions to improve the quality of the received signal. 5. Cell site optimization. Network operators can optimize the cell site locations, antenna configuration, and transmission power to ensure adequate signal coverage and strength. 5. This can result in an improvement in the serving SINR. In summary, the serving SINR is a crucial parameter in an LTE network that measures the ratio of the signal power to the combined power of the interference and noise. Several factors such as interference, noise, signal quality, and distance from the cell can affect the serving SINR. Network operators can take several solutions such as interference mitigation, signal boosting, frequency band optimization, channel coding, and cell site optimization to improve the serving SINR and network performance. What is RLC, radio link control, throughput DL and all? RLC, radio link control, throughput refers to the data transfer rate achieved between the user equipment, UE, and the LTE base station on the downlink, DL, and uplink, all, directions. It is a critical parameter in LTE networks, as it determines the overall user experience and network performance. Several factors can affect the RLC throughput DL and all, including 1. Channel conditions. The quality of the communication channel between the UE and the base station is the primary factor that affects RLC throughput. 1. Channel quality is affected by several factors such as signal strength, signal to noise ratio, and interference from other cells. 2. User equipment capabilities. The capabilities of the user equipment, such as the modem and processing power, can affect the RLC throughput. 2. Older or less powerful devices may not be able to achieve high throughput rates. 3. Network congestion. High network congestion can reduce the RLC throughput as the available bandwidth is shared among multiple users. 4. Protocol overhead. The overhead associated with the RLC protocol, such as the retransmission of lost packets and the addition of protocol headers, can reduce the available bandwidth for data transfer. 
How we can improve RLC throughput DL and all. To improve RLC throughput DL and all, network operators can take several solutions such as 1. Channel optimization. Network operators can optimize the radio channels to improve the quality of the communication channel between the UE and the base station. 1. This can be achieved through techniques such as antenna diversity, beamforming, and interference cancellation. 2. Network capacity expansion. Network operators can expand the network capacity by adding more base stations or by increasing the available bandwidth. 3. Protocol optimization. Network operators can optimize the RLC protocol to reduce the overhead associated with data transfer. 3. This can be achieved by adjusting the packet size, retransmission interval, and protocol headers. 4. COS. Quality of service. Prioritization. Network operators can prioritize high bandwidth applications, such as video streaming, to ensure that they receive the necessary bandwidth for high throughput rates. 5. User Equipment Upgrade Network operators can encourage users to upgrade their devices to newer models with better capabilities, such as improved modems and processing power. In summary, RLC throughput DL and UL are critical parameters in LTE networks that determine the data transfer rate between the UE and the base station. Several factors such as channel conditions, user equipment capabilities, network congestion, and protocol overhead can affect the RLC throughput. Network operators can take several solutions such as channel optimization, network capacity expansion, protocol optimization, COS prioritization, and user equipment upgrade to improve the RLC throughput and network performance.